We decided to do a really quick trip get away it's only for three days you can do so much in milan in just three days there's so much to do and obviously i wanted to bring you guys along this is my first trip of 2024 i am really excited we want to see loads of the italian culture we want to eat good food and we have so many things planned we're staying at rica hotel guys let me tell you this hotel is so beautiful like the interior it's very intimate there's only seven rooms and only 14 people can stay in this hotel customer service when we walked in the lady just makes you feel like you're at home it's so nice to go to somewhere and you feel like this is your home already and we walked in and i'm in the toilet right now and it's so beautiful like i'm like wow and on top of that the hotel even has dyson air wrap in here and also has my soaps that i have at home <laughs> But it's the little things for me and also there's so many things you can do in this hotel just because after a certain time you're quite independent which means that there's no staff in here so you kind of look after yourself and it feels like a little townhouse so it's like downstairs and then you walk up and your bedroom's upstairs and honestly it's so nice i've never really stayed anywhere like this before it's currently like 1 p.m so we're gonna head out get some food because we're gonna go to a spa i'm so tired <laughs> that i can't wait to just have a nap in the spa i'm really excited and let's just get going because i'm running a little bit late
welcome back i've got a microphone i hope this sounds better than my other vlogs i finally invested <laughs> i just showered we came back from the spa i'm gonna do my makeup and just talk about today because i had such a good day such a good day it was so good guys the spa was amazing i definitely needed it after such a long week of work the place was so big it had so many rooms which it was so interesting to see because i don't think i've been to a spa like that before but my favorite room was the one that um, it had like the rain in it it's so amazing i literally go to sleep with rain sound every single night i love the way it makes you feel when you hear rain rain i can genuinely just go to sleep so quickly but i think the only thing about this spa is because it's gone viral on tiktok damn there was so many people oh my god the rooms were so full up almost you can't really relax we wanted to know what time was the best time to go and they said it's during the week so if you are interested to go to that spa i definitely would recommend to come during the week but today is monday and it was busy very very busy so i would love to know what time it is actually empty so you can enjoy you know your you time and to be honest it had rules around the spa that you should be quiet people were talking really loud and i couldn't really relax people were laughing and it wasn't like zen kind of spa it was like more of um i don't know just adventurous kind of spa because every room had like a different theme to it apart from that it was so so amazing i definitely would recommend anyone to go if you visit milan i don't want to give you the wrong price but i'm going to put the prices here i think we paid a hundred pounds for both of us when we got there we decided to get some massages so we booked it as we arrived we thought we needed to pre-book it but you could do it when you got there can i just say the massages was one of the best massages i've had it was so relaxing soft hands it was half an hour and you can choose what section you want from your body that you want to get massage you can do like your back or your leg or a head massage and we chose to do back and it was so good i literally fell asleep it was so relaxing i think if i'm not wrong the massages were 80 euros so it was like 40 pound each and i didn't think that was too bad for half an hour and it was so good so i would honestly do it again it was so good i kind of wish that it was a little bit longer than massages they're only 30 minutes long but it was enough because it was towards the end of the day and we finished up with some massage and right after that we had some food <laughs> when they said oh like you the food is included towards the end we were thinking like maybe a lunch or a sandwich but <laughs> they offered just bread and some champagne which to be honest i mean after a spa i don't think um it would be good eating a massive you know lunch or dinner but it i was kind of expecting to eat a little bit more so right now we are getting ready to go to a restaurant because we are dying like we got the plane got here checked in and then we straight away went to the spa so we technically haven't eaten and we are very hungry but overall the spa was an incredible experience only thing i wished i went when there was less people i went at 3 p.m and it was i felt like everyone was there <laughs> like we were almost like queuing up to get into the spa room i mean if you're going to relax i think you should maybe go really early in the morning when there's less people i still really enjoyed it and i'll definitely go back if i ever come back to milan because it was worth the visit it would be illegal to come to italy and not eat italian food we're gonna visit an italian restaurant i'm really excited because i'm not really a pasta fan i've got to say but we've made so much research to see where is the best food and we can really experience that traditional italian food i always love to do that every time i come to a country i want to go to places where the actual people recommend the restaurant we're going to visit today is called gloria esteria and if you want to visit then there is the name i'm gonna try and vlog over there now that i've got my my microphone i can speak and you can't hear the background i'm excited to go and try italian food we didn't really see the weather over here and we arrived today and the weather is so beautiful it's so warm it honestly feels like spring over here and i decided to buy like really cool like outfits and i bought a really fur coat everything's like really warm and now i'm like regretting it because it's so warm over here honestly going to um sweat <laughs> 
my outfits are a little bit too wintry for Milan and it's okay because that's all I bought. I'm wearing brown today and I'm wearing this brown jumpsuit. It's all the way down and it's got like this foot slong thing. You just put it all over your foot and I'm wearing a brown fur coat. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about that. I might look a little bit too warm today. So I'm gonna quickly put this on. And this is the coat that I'm talking about. The coat is from Club L London and it was a bargain because there's so many fur coats out there and why are they like 300 pounds this one was affordable it was less than 150 so i was like oh my god the color is so nice and i'm if i'm not wrong they have it in black and white so if you want a furry coat which is really good quality go to club bell london because look at this it's so soft it feels like my cat you know because it's so soft i love it i love it so yeah gonna head out to the restaurant and i'll see you there with my little microphone <laughs> guys i just want to show you how cute the entrance of our hotel is so it comes with this like wooden door at night so it has a lot of security this is so cute oh. in Gloria and can I say the interior is so good in here from the outside it looks like a club and then we walked in and it's so beautiful like I don't know what vibe this is it's like very 90s maybe a mojito ready taste test cheers to Milan I got this microphone because I want to just review things at the same time that I'm experiencing it so you guys can come and see if this is good. The price range was really impressive because everything from this restaurant you would think that is very expensive but it's from like 9 euros to 25 euros which it's very affordable for where you are and it's in euros so if you're coming from the UK it's a little bit cheaper as well. When it came to ordering the food we were like what do we it's all like in Italian names it was a little bit difficult but we let the lady choose for us and she just told us the recommendation so if you're ever stuck just always ask the waiter what do you recommend and they usually bring the best wings or the most popular in their menu so I decided to get spaghetti and I think he's getting meat yeah I'm so hungry guys I can eat a whole entire cow right now first star is croquetas of seafood I think one is with a pineapple it's called capricio de ananas i have to say it with the accent because they have such an amazing accent here and it's like chocolate with cream and it's called choco clap clap dark chocolate salted caramel coffee hazelnut mm. very citrusy very fruity
good morning it is really early in the morning we are ready to head out just want to say how nice the customer service is in this hotel i absolutely love it they bring everything for you the breakfast is included which we were surprised about and they tell you what time to come down and it's literally just us in the lobby i will show you absolutely no one around it's just us two bring you a selection of fruit granola your choice of coffee or tea croissant bread just so lovely i got orange juice i love this hotel and if i ever come milan again do you know what i'll come back right back here because i love how central it is and it's just a vibe here very 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 homey i've never ever stayed in a place where i feel like i'm at home and i can put my feet up and relax today's outfit I think I'm gonna wear all black. I quickly had to put my jumpsuit on. This jumpsuit is from Zara and I found it in the lingerie section. I didn't even know Zara had like a lingerie section the way they did. But the quality of this jumpsuit, it reminds me of Skims so much. If anything, it's like better than Skims. It wasn't the price yet, so if I'm not wrong, this was like 48 pound or 45. But when I saw it, I was like, I'm grabbing that. That is like a piece that you need in your wardrobe. But I'm glad I got it as quick as I did because it was the last one. And then I'm wearing this really nice piece from the other stories. This ring as well. I'm trying to wear more jewelry because I'm such a plain Jane when it comes to jewelry. I always just wear pearls. These ones that I bought as well. These are from the other stories. It looks like the same as the Bottega famous earrings that everyone buys. These are like the miniature version. How cute anything miniature is like the cutest thing so i'm gonna pair it with some socks and my adidas trainers they are the most comfortable trainers i have we're gonna do a lot of walking today so i think it's a good choice and the start of the show is this really amazing jacket i found from naked it is a black leather jacket and it reminds me a lot of kylie's new collection with her clothing line and she's got like this famous leather jacket but this one's from naked and it was almost half of the price i got it off 50 percent when they had to sell over the christmas period i just thought it would be a really nice i thought it would be a really nice outfit i just tripped on camera yama is the fifth largest church in Europe it has the most statues it's took thousands and centuries for it to be built let's go inside and check it all out oh, and the sun came out if you want to go up and make a little bit of exercise but you get the option to pay a little bit extra it is an extra approximately about seven to eight euros that we paid to get the lift so if you can't walk upstairs or you've got a bad knee or you're lazy like us you can pay that extra money and you go straight at the top in the lift so we're walking to the side so you have to come out and find the entrance through the back and then we go upstairs. This is the lift that I'm talking about. We're about to go up. <laughs> Thank you.
We are now at the top of the Diomo and we are at the roof. We are walking through this little entrance. We are so high up, it's crazy. There's still a few stairs you still need to take on the side, I think, to get into the main part of the roof. And this is huge, guys. Wow, it's so beautiful. This is so incredible, and it's definitely worth it to come and visit here, the rooftop of the Duomo. You can see absolutely everything. This is like the roof of the church, which I find so cool that you can come and see it. I think there's a hole here and you can see down. Wow. But yeah, this is the rooftop of the Diome. And we're gonna go even higher with these little staircase on the side. Even doing these stairs. <laughs> Out of breath here. Wow, look how tall we are. Come look through there. Damn, we are really, really high up. And we keep going. <laughs> We are at the top, the top top. Wow, this is even more beautiful. Ah. Wow, this is stunning. And they even have a telescope that you can look through and see close to Milan only for one euro. Wow, wow guys. This is definitely worth it. I am so glad, even though it is so cloudy today. Considering how beautiful it is in here, it is still getting constructed after centuries of doing this church. And if you look right at the top, the Virgin Mary is made out of real gold. It's stunning. And I feel like they still have so much to do because there's so many works around. Walking back down is a long okay, So we are now in the famous shopping center. It's okay. We are gonna visit Campari, where the original cocktail was created. Campari original spritz. spritz which is from Milan itself Negroni cocktail it's a little fun fact which I looked up that this this has been here since 1867 this is a famous bar in the heart of Milan it was famous for its elegant cocktails and atmosphere at the time and it's continued its legacy because it's still here in 2024 and it's really prestige and beautiful and let's just try this So this is the oldest shopping center in Milan and I'm right in the middle of it. It has got all the luxury shops. It's got Dior, Prada, Louis Vuitton. Literally in the entrance of where we was drinking and eating. There's a tradition in Milan that if you turn your heel like the way he's doing, three times you get good fortune and good luck. So we obviously have to do that now that we're here. <laughs> Let's go. 
now we're gonna go and try famous Milan coffee in Starbucks. It's really near, I think it's like a five, 10 minute walk from here. So I think we're gonna walk it. I decided to get this croissant with strawberry, which I thought it was really interesting. And then I got a cappuccino, my favorite. He got a double espresso, a pistachio donut that looks like, and they give you water with it. So yeah, this is what we got. We are in the Starbucks roastery, and it's crazy because they actually make the coffee here, right in front of you. You can watch every step of the roasting process and until it gets to your cup and it goes all through the ceiling and it comes straight through this little machine and they make the coffee straight from there and the roaster is literally over there which is really really cool they do cocktails here and drinks and there's a bar right on top also all the bakery in here is made right here in the oven back there and it's all freshly made as well so if you really love coffees and pastries you definitely have to come and experience this because this looks like a museum more than like a coffee shop so if you're a coffee head this will be your best friend in Milan it has been a few hours we had a massive nap every time we go on holiday we walk for so long trying to look at so many things at the same time but i'm glad i had a nap we got changed i'm inspired by valentine's that is around the corner i did my hair like this with a little bird i don't know if you can see and i'm wearing red which isn't my favorite color i've got to say because it's valentine's and i thought it was really cute i found this top in zara and it's just basically like a long sleeve top and it goes with the bow perfectly. I put some red lippy on. These trousers are very baggy, but that's the style. So it's like these black trousers from Naked. This jacket is so nice. It's like a long, excuse the mess in the background. A really long jacket from weekday and it's such nice quality. On the lips, I'm using this hourglass, like lip gloss kind of lipstick. I'm gonna show you how nice it is. I just want to show you, I discovered this the other day when I was doing the clear out. It is like a lip gloss, but it's like a balm and it gives like a tint of color. And personally, I like when a red is like almost there, but not, not completely there. And this gives like such a good finish. And what I like to do is I take the middle bit off, like I dab it off, and then it kind of makes it more natural, like a lip colour. And then that's all I did for my lips. We're going to a really fun restaurant and I can't wait to show you. We're going to the Crazy Pizza. <laughs> I actually recorded this and I had no sound because I have this microphone and I'm not used to it. Anyways, I'll let you know again. <laughs> So, we're going Crazy Pizza. It's a very popular restaurant. Um, they do pizza and they do this show where they kind of do like a pizza show. Move around pizzas in their hands. Apparently it's not even pizza, it's not even dough that they do it with. It's actually a cloth. <laughs> Let's just see how it is when we get there. You do have to make a reservation. I think during the week it's not that busy so you could walk in. If you want a really nice show, it's better on the weekends. It is a Tuesday, but it's fine. It will still be a vibe. This is where it's originated from, so I have to try a pizza tonight.
castle and we're looking at it at night time when there's no one here. So beautiful, like everything's so big over here in Milan. So this is the Castillo de Franco. Oh, I'm so sorry, I have the pronunciations, I need to practice. If you want to see this castle with no one around, come at night time. I think I really wanted to go to the shopping center that we was at today during the night because there's still bars and stuff open and you can go and there's less people and you can actually take a picture in peace because today was crazy there were so many people in there mesmerizing like every time i went to the church i was mesmerized and here i just want to stand here and be like wow it's beautiful <laughs> Welcome to my bar. No, I'm joking. <laughs> this is the lobby's bar and you get to do, like you're free to do anything you want. You can make your own cocktails, you can serve yourself some wine, which is here. Or the lady said if I wanted to is pick any cocktail that you want and they're already made in these like sachets. There's like daiquiri, Tommy's margaritas, old fashioned, gin sours, and then you get some ice and your glass which is here you have your coffee machine and your kettle and you've got like your shot glasses look how nice this bar is excuse my whisper and i just don't want to wake anyone up but look i'm in here it's so pretty okay let's make some cocktails which one do you want guys you can choose any alcohol that you want the problem is i'm not seeing tequila and that's all i like <laughs> ice that they um give you it's not actually ice it's these cold cubes it's better because it won't water down our drink right right which one do you want let's try tommy's margarita just because i like margarita all right so what should we do can I have a bit <laughs> Sure, sir. Which one do you want? What have you got? I don't think there's in here. Is Ichnusa or Bira Moredi. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. There. Mm -hmm. No, okay. I'm not. I'm no, not you have to keep the fire. <laughs> no, the other way, silly. The other way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Sure. No. I did it. I did it. Play a game, you figure it out. <laughs> Your game? Okay. Gosh, no. No, wait. No, no, stop giving me pressure because right now. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh, Here you go, sir. That will be 10 99 I don't like big guys, but I'll try. Don't drink, kids. I always think beers taste like a fizzy drink with perfume in it. We're gonna do the ice. Let's look at the cocktail. Easy. And then we pour it in. Oof. Why does that just take... That, that smells just like tequila. Ooh. Is that pure just tequila on its own? Okay, it says Tutti consmi al classico margarita. Tommy es grandi si. It's in Italian, babes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's not that bad. Ah. I'm sure you can have some. some. It's nice. We are now going back upstairs with my long ass trousers that don't fit me. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me with my metal glass margarita. Let's go to bed.
kind of strawberries and fruits and different in different countries I am telling you they are never the same like in London mm, so sad we just get fruits <laughs> we should be getting pizza and stuff I saw this it is called La Tuche oh no I can't remember the print Italian you would know what this is Lucite or something La Tuche <laughs> He was trying to explain what it was, but it just looks nice. It looks sugary and very traditional. So let's do a taste test because we are so hungry and we don't know what to eat. So we just thought, let's just try this. Look at this. It's like crunchy bread with sugar on it. A biscuit with some ice and sugar but it's a really nice flavor mm. I had to quickly pop into Sephora because there's this lip liner that I really wanted let me show you which one it is makeup forever one is called endless cacao anywhere caffeine so yeah these two i'm actually wearing it on my lips and it looks so good this dark brown yeah right it has like a gray undertone look at me talking about makeup in the middle of the road in italy <laughs> i just went for these lip liners and I, I got a contour stick as well so yeah there's some makeup shopping why not so hungry by the way we have not eaten all day apart from the breakfast that we had in our hotel mm. it comes with this, this like tomato sauce and a yellow sauce this is how it looks mm. delicious and guys we're in such a rush to eat because restaurants close at 3 p.m till 7 and we're leaving at 6 so we needed to find somewhere quick because it's i think if i'm not wrong it's 2 p.m so I imagine if we don't eat on time we won't get to eat good good food you know this restaurant is called Valentino and it's right beside the Diomo. From the starters, they taste so good. We have eaten the papers. I'm gonna try the bread now. Mm. Mm. Very fresh. I feel like I'm a TV presenter. I'm talking to you guys now with my little microphone. <laughs> So we have tangatelli with lime cess and spaghetti. This is baby meat with mashed potatoes. And then this is the famous risotto. Let's try the risotto. My mom used to make risotto so much. I used to eat a lot of Italian food because my parents loved Italian food. They would love it so much, they would make it at home. It's like a creamy rice that they make. Mm. Let's try this pasta. I hope you can hear like the ASMR of this pasta. Mm. Lemony. Mm. 
I literally came into the shop just to have a look and I'm buying trainers and I just literally want to wear them right now. They are the most comfortable trainers I've ever put my feet in, I swear. This is how nice they are. Because we've been walking so much, my feet hurt so much. And these are apparently made for walking, running, and it's got like this heel in the middle that kind of gives like, if you've got flat feet like me, it helps you walk and feel comfortable <laughs> and they're so nice i love trainers that are like kind of weird looking ready did some shopping guys so we are back in the galleria which is where the shopping center is that we was here yesterday and we are trying to find a cafe that has really nice coffee pastries and also with a nice view because we're here now and our feet are really tired now like we have been walking for so long now so there's one on top of Prada and we're thinking we're gonna go in it because you can see the view of all the shopping center because um, he is a fan of coffee extreme fan and he wants to try like good good coffee cafe is right on top of Prada as you can see there's like a venue up there and I think you have to just walk through here and you go up to the cafe it's called Marchesi and we looked online and they are usually the same kind of prices as any type of cafe so it's not overly expensive even if you have a really good view so there is a little wait in line as you can see she's at the door and there's a few people waiting here we are just gonna wait and hopefully we get a table with a good view <laughs> then I got this little dessert which is all fruity apparently because it's Italy right they say that if you stand up in the coffee shops it's way cheaper it's at 125 didn't you say one euro for a espresso right a double espresso is 125 and if you stand in coffee like in the, by the bar you get it cheaper but if you sit down they charge you more so if you want a quick in and out kind of coffee always stand up it's way cheaper and you got a pistachio chocolate cake it looks insane yeah, i've done so much content guys that if you follow me on my tiktok please give me some love i have honestly tried to do as much as i can here because it was such an experience and i would love you guys to experience it the way i did so please please like this video right now if you enjoyed this vlog our flights were so affordable i couldn't believe how cheap it is when you travel in february it was worth it our hotel was a 10 out of 10 i highly recommend it to anyone one only thing and I'm gonna be quite honest is that we expected way more from crazy pizza and for the prices <laughs> it's a little bit too high for what do you think about it bread the desserts were 18 euros 
it was just and the show that you saw it was less than a minute long and it wasn't the best guys so i'm being honest you can go and try it out if you want to have the experience there's better places and cheaper for pizza in italy for sure so definitely don't follow that trend on tiktok because we did that and that was the one restaurant that we did because of me yes i know it's giving me the eye because i was the one who was like no let's go all the other restaurants are all because of reviews on google so yeah if you like this video and you enjoyed this vlog please please subscribe hopefully i can do some more holiday vlogs soon in this year and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye